This key diagram revision video looks at real wage unemployment. Now, real wage unemployment happens when a, the unemployment exists because real wages, that's wages adjusted for inflation, are too high relative to the equilibrium wage that would clear the labour market. So in this diagram here, we're using aggregate labour supply and aggregate labour demand, with the real wage on the y-axis and employment on the x-axis. The market equilibrium wage rate is RW1. But if the real wage rate is RW2, then labour supply expands, labour demand contracts, leading to an excess supply of labour of E3, E2. That essentially is real wage unemployment. Now, real wage rigidity happens when workers are reluctant to see their real wages fall, even during an economic downturn. Keynesians argue that wages can be sticky or slow to adjust downwards because of things like long-term labour contracts, the importance of trade union collective bargaining and social norms about what constitutes fair pay. So I've shown here an inward shift of aggregate labour demand. Now, normally wages would fall on the back of that. But if the real wages stick at RW2, then we get a further fall in employment from E3 to E4. So the risk is that high real wages in a downturn might accentuate or amplify the loss of jobs.